Larry Ryan Ryan here. The cabin in the woods. It really sucked. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't. I mean, I know this movie came out a while ago, but and I had heard maybe like one or two good things about it. I mean, back when it first came out in theaters, and uh. But for the longest time, I put off watching it because to me, it just seemed like it was going to be yet another poorly made uh, horror movie. <laughs> and I guess it pretty much is, but I mean, granted, there's, there's like a whole twist to it. Like, uh, I mean, I don't really want to give it away, like, for those who haven't seen it, but I mean, it does involve like the usual kind of hor horror movie themes, tropes, or whatever, uh, you know, there's, there's a group of college kids, and they go out into this cabin in the woods somewhere, and, and then a bunch of bad stuff happens, most of them get killed, and, uh, but then, uh, at the same time, it turns out there's this, like, like I don't know, some kind of, like, underground, uh, base of some kind and where there's just these people where to me it reminded me of kind of like uh, mission control like that NASA has you know where they have like an entire team of people uh, to help the astronauts and all that and except with this it's like there's this entire team of people that uh, they're there to ensure that you know, these different, I guess, groups of people who are in different locations. And uh, and because it's, it's also supposed, it's supposed to be like a worldwide kind of thing. So pretty much like in each country, there's like these teams of people that, you know, who are, uh, they kind of like man the controls of this underground bunker type place uh, in order to ensure that you know again these groups of people kids mostly young kids college kids and get killed by various creatures demons and ghosts entities or whatever uh, I mean I kind of liked that that twist to it and because uh, I will admit it added at least a little something extra uh but still, I don't know, for me, just the, the bulk of the story, uh, I couldn't really get into, uh, I mean, pretty much almost every, well, not every, but pretty much most of the performances in this, I felt like they were overacted, like, they seemed like they were trying a little too hard or something. <laughs> Uh, and of course, Chris Hemsworth is in this, and I don't know if he did this movie like a couple of years before the first Thor movie or something, maybe like around the same time before or after he filmed Thor or something like that. <laughs> but I didn't even know he was in this, uh, so, but then, I mean, he's never been one of my favorite actors to begin with anyways, that's <laughs> Uh, but there's like one scene in which he dies. I mean, yes, he dies. Okay, I mean, I guess it's kind of a spoiler, but I don't know. I don't really think so. I mean, because, you know, it's supposed to be one of those horror movies where everyone dies. So, uh, granted, maybe a couple people. Well, no, actually, yeah, because towards the end, I'm not going to give away the end, but technically, yeah, everybody does die. <laughs> but, uh,. For me, the way Chris Hemsworth's character in this movie died, it made me laugh out loud. <laughs> uh, I guess mostly because I wasn't expecting it as, like, you know, he tried to, like, play the hero, like, because uh, his character's girlfriend, she's, she gets killed. And then he, like, says something where he's like, don't worry, guys, he does this kind of, like, monologue of sorts and... Uh, and he tells the, the the other characters, you know, he said, I'll 
you know, he says something along the lines of, you know, I'll go get help. And he gets on this uh, motorcycle. I want to say it was a motorcycle or a scooter or some kind. Of, I don't remember. I mean, really, I wasn't paying that much attention. <laughs> uh, except for this particular scene. And so, that, and then he goes off this cliff and then he just slams into this, like, invisible force field wall thing. And... <laughs> and uh, which I kind of I really wasn't expecting, but so it caught me off guard, and you know it made me laugh out loud because <laughs> yeah, because he was like, yeah, I'll go, I'll go find help, guys. You know, I'll be the hero, and then, and then bam, sm smack right into the invisible force field wall thing, and, <laughs> and I don't know. I guess for me that was like the highlight of the movie. <laughs> it, because cause the rest of it, the rest of like I said, the story, like most of the story is just, uh, I, I don't like it. It's, uh, so I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, again, I will say, you know, the whole kind of twist to it, you know, where there's these guys that are actually controlling, that are subjecting these college kids to these different uh, horrific beings and I like that twist definitely but I, don't know, I guess just for the rest of it it seemed like it, it wasn't done well it was just like the rest of it just seemed like it was just all thrown together you know that I don't know let me know if you've seen this movie if you liked it what what did you like about it and I don't uh I don't know if there's going to be a sequel. I hope not. <laughs> I but I wouldn't be surprised if, if there were. But yeah, as far as the rating goes, I'm, I'm going to give it... Uh, uh, I gotta give it like 6 out of 10. I would say like bare minimum 5.5, but you know, you could just round it up to a 6. 6 out of 10, yeah. So... That'll do it for my review of The Cabin in the Woods. Thanks for watching. Nice for listening. As always, until next time, don't forget to keep real, keep on rocking, and peace.